Hello everybody, welcome to week three of Blood Bowl Super League. We've got Group A action, we've got Dimmy G with his incredible 2-0 um, undead up against Andy Davo with his 1-1 one one necromantic team. Um, you know, fresh off a loss to Sol, this is a back-to-back -back game for Andy Davo. Dimmy has already played two games today in real life, so it's very interesting. You know, maybe, maybe there'll be some psychological damage to Davo here after enduring that 4-1 loss. But uh, very interesting to see how he plays and how Dimmy plays should be very exciting. Dimmy's won the toss, chosen to receive. And in the booth is the legend himself, Fymir. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Fans of Blood Bowl. I have to sort that out because Dimmy is setting up. What a game oh, we have nice. here. Dimi, one of the top 50 coaches in Hastings, <laughs> undefeated in the Blue Bowl Super League versus Andy Davo as a high level coach. And I'll dare to say, I'll dare to say, if, if Andy was in Hastings, he would also be in the top 50 coaches <laughs> in Blue Bowl. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's, that's the level of this competition. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very fair to say. Both of these guys would be the top 50 of Hastings. Oh my god, there's a blitz. And Dimmy didn't put anybody on this side, but it's a bit harder to get around this side, so he might have gotten away with it a little bit. All right, and this game is dedicated to our viewers in Estonia, whose mm -hmm. capital is Stalin. And the currency is the euro, because they are in the euro, not in the European Union, not like some other country <laughs> that I'm not going to mention. The national flower is the car flower, and the national, this is the very boars. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure there are Blood Bowl coaches from Estonia. Yep. Oh and now the Blitz here. The Wolves are at the ground uh, side. Lucky for uh, Dimi. Here comes the Blitz. Oh, chaining off the mummy, saving a hit. Lovely. Lovely move from Devil. There you go, avoids uh, which could have been a very dangerous hit on the... I mean, uh, the problem is he's just going to blitz the <laughs> just going to blitz the raid, but I guess he might he might fail the foul appearance, right? He might fail the foul appearance. And he's getting around a bit. Yeah. There's going to be, uh, yes, some uh, dice on that raid. Oh, and it's uh, not much that uh, we protect a little more the raid, yes. Put some pressure on the side. Wow. Big commitment from Devo. Big, big, big commitment because if uh, Dimi pick up the ball, can go to the left side. Mm. He has a ton of players already there, you know, for a very good cage. I don't like going three in even here. Because what, what, what's that guy doing there? Him. Oh, he's, he's scared of missing the pickup. Yeah. Oh my god, cowardice of the maximum <laughs> level. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Poor Dimmy. PTSD from the other game where he failed five pickups in a row. There you go, traumatized. But Dimmy is still undefeated here, so. Yeah. Two wins out of two for Dimbo. I like screening the tackler there in case you know anything happens. Oh, three ding, so he foregoing a block there. Gets a removal. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. Well you could blitz with a mummy in there. And then that's a 3D blitz. Oh, he's just going to 2D with the guard. Yeah, just 2D with the guard. And yeah, he's, I guess he's going to 3D the... Not, sorry, 2D the uh, wraith. Problem with the 2D is that uh, Mami doesn't have block. <laughs> and uh, Ray has side step, so this could be... well. If he does that, that's the right square. Gets the pow. Gets the blow. pow. 
Might you blow an AV8? That's a stun. That's a stun, but a good result. Oh, God. Fails the pickup. Doesn't reroll. Decides not to reroll. Okay. I think I would have rerolled. Not not because it's that under that much pressure, just so it gives you three potential pickups, you know, including the next turn, because next turn there's gonna be a lot of heat on you, right? This wolf's gonna come in, bosh, and then this guy's coming around the side that you know, and then they, these are coming around this side. So I feel like you're gonna be under a lot of pressure next turn. So I would have I would have, you know, Rerolled this turn so that I wouldn't have to next turn it. That sounds uh, that sound might like, might sound a bit stupid, but that's what I would have tried to do. Um, I would I would go for Team England, yes, not Team Wales uh, or Team Ireland. <laughs> I'm not qualified for Ireland. I probably am qualified for Wales or Scotland by virtue of being English, but I would definitely try to play for Team England <laughs> if I was going to play. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start a prediction. To see if there will be a touchdown this half. Oh. Very nice. Surely, surely there will, but for who? It's 50 50 at the moment. There's going to be a lot of pressure, I think, this turn. Oh, no, no, he's, he's going away. Oh, he's just going to hit there. He's just going to bang. He's going to bang the mummy. Dave, or just content to bang a mummy. No surprises there. <laughs> no foul though, he's moved his, uh, moved his zombies. It's funny that Devo's always, uh, not Devo, Dimmy's always like completely paranoid about his mummies getting banged out, and then he's got them massively separated in a in a gang fouling position. He'll be he'll be pretty sad. But this is nice for Dimmy. Oh, this is oh. Yeah, there's no foul, is he? He's he's not going to foul him with a. With a gal, but he's got to he's got to try and uh, dimmy has got to try and stop this zombie from fouling him. <laughs> Swiss within Swiss. Yeah, yeah. The Euro Bowl draws up is what these people are talking about. Very interesting draws. Is it France versus France versus Scotland, isn't it? And uh, England versus Spain are the two standout matches, I would say, of the. First round of Euro Bowl. Oh, so he chains his other mummy. Oh no, he couldn't. Oh shit. If that was a chain, it would have been really good, but it wasn't. But at least he's got both mummies next to each other. There you go. Nice. There you go. Mummies are together again. Yeah. Keep the mummies together. Yeah, exactly. They are back together. <laughs> Not like the parents of some of our viewers. <laughs> yeah, they are the big matches of the round for sure, Kaelor and Deterred. Kaelor and uh, travelling to Greece, Athens. Mm. Making good use of these uh, 13 billion uh, euros received recently. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy pick up the ball. Yeah. And now what he's going to do? He see. Just hang back a little bit. Gets the one D. Oh, pound. powerful one D to get the guy. Oh my God, armor break even. Oh, and okay, no and that gets in the 2D on the fleshy. Oh, he won't stand firm, right, to get guard on the mummies. No, he does stand firm. No AV break. Diced again, Dimmy. 
Well, that's pretty good for Dimbo, isn't it? Two removals. They're only they're only zombies, but they still help. They count. They count. There's two less players. Yeah, and it means Devo can't foul the mummies if he can even get them over. No. Oh, revenge! Yeah, we'll just try and look at the behind there. Yeah, he's got his ghouls and his wolves all all in on this. Uh, on these. Mummies. This is pretty nice trade for Dimmy, actually, isn't it? Getting to smash wolves with mummies, unless they get smashed by the wolves. It's very interesting. Super interesting. in which gives him the 2d but he can't oh that one mummy down oh yeah he can and now he can uh, blitz the other mummy with the wolf getting the chain into the stand firm and but it would have only been into a one right it's oh no there wasn't there wasn't a uh, piece there there wasn't yeah, a piece there it would have been a two and a one but he gets the knockdown look a dog but this is still pretty decent for timmy although he hasn't got any guard on the mummies and doesn't have the guard at the moment on the white because he's stunned it's still nice to get the the mummies up isn't it get the mummies up next to each other but yeah it really would have looked a lot better if he had guard on them right now But he's got block ghouls, which is pretty nice. There you go. And yes, in a few seems in a few days it's gonna be the Euro Bowl in Athens, Greece. Greece the uh, capital where they started the Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. And I have a story oh wait 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 oh, it's Dimmy. Here. Dimmy, turn ordering Dimmy, turn ordering <laughs> Stand those Get the bow. No, remove. Another it. KO. Dimmy blessed with the dice. Yeah. Some good dice here from Dimmy. And once again, someone predicted that there will be no touchdown with 10 points. <laughs> and now that's the right thing. <laughs> Maybe he's going to dodge them out. <laughs> Maybe. I don't think so. Wait, okay, no, yeah, that's what I thought that was the other cool. It's like, what the fuck are you doing to me? But no, this is fine. This is fine. Probably dodges out the cool. Around. Yeah. Yeah. And a very nice stand uh, three for uh, Divi. Yeah. Devo, down to eight players, probably wants to give up the half and, and surf the tackler. But, you know, even with eight players, you've still got to try and defend. You've just got to try to defend. So. And he's uh, retreating a little, so that probably means that he's... Oh, double pulse. Oh man, Blodge doing work for Dimmy. Reroll, frustration reroll from Devo. Yeah, raging, raging. <laughs> Welcome to Hastings, Devo. <laughs> oh my god, that he's dodged. Okay, that was a little uh, over the top there, but okay. And Two rerolls gone. Yeah, that's why he rerolled, right? Because he wanted a power to get the assist in. So it wasn't just like a, a stupid greed reroll, it was to save him the dodge. Which then used another. Oh my god. Oh my god. Regen's failed. Regen failed. Tatters. That's what I'm having out. A massive, massive equity earthquake. <laughs> Never density. lucky. Yeah. Never lucky. That's and absolutely brutal. And here comes the foul with the second mummy. Still alive. Nothing. Should have dodged them out. <laughs> he 
should have dodged them out. Oh dear. Oh, Timmy. If only they both had guard, they would have like protected each other a bit. Like, I do like guard on the mummies. I know Timmy doesn't, and I'm not about to change his mind by saying this, but uh, I would have really, I really like guard on the mummies. Because them being next to each other didn't really help them, right? It would have helped them if they were both guard. But instead, it just meant that Davos' guard was that much more useful because it was applying to both of them. For what a swing that like you know that he's got two on one there one on one there so he's got three on two he's, he's losing that fight he's got this stun so he's kind of somehow Dimmy's managed to be outnumbered despite being up two players but um it, you know the player he's lost is much better than the player the players Davo has he's gonna be able to advance some squares here, but he needs to be careful because he could uh, isolate his... Uh, oh, his... Uh... Yeah, he might get forced in early, which is the problem, like, after after removing so many players. really don't want to get forced in early. Yeah, no, I, I get that, Kornai, but you just have to not get them left behind, right? Yeah, that's true. The the, the, the kickoff result being the blitz and and then the failed pickup, you know, the dice have been against Dimmy. At least more th although he's made three removals, um, yeah, the mummies were kind of screwed from the start. He hasn't been able to get any decent result. And then, like, he'll want to dodge this tackler, but then if he dodges the tackler, then, oh my god, he's dodged the zombie, and he's failed, and he's cast, and he's failed and the region. Failed, and out, suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, the difference in uh, players is uh, irrelevant. Yeah. Oh, dear. Deary me. That's interesting because I, I wouldn't have minded putting the fleshy on the white so that I can have the zombie on the mummy, right? Whereas now I guess he's not going to put anybody in the mummy and just run down here, which makes sense and probably better. But the mummy, the mummy in front of this guy would have been really good, right? Better than having the zombie tagging him from the back. But now it means he's got a fleshy, you know, maybe somewhere doing something. Wolves basing the ball, maybe. Wolves basing the ball seems to be in the menu. Armor break. Not basing the ball, just trying to throw. Not basing the ball. What is this? <laughs> this goes against the most basic. Uh, oh, he's uh, pressing a uh, Dimi, telling Dimi, you better score next time. Yeah, yeah. The best advert for why basing the ball is bad is bad. There, right? Like he could have double based it to be fair, which is a bit better. But this is so much better, I think, than basing it. Right? Basing it just gives him assist. Yeah, he does the chief five. five is pretty good there. Oh, the double Oh, the double skulls. He can it? afford to eat it. I think he has to, yeah. Have to eat it. Yes. I mean, yeah, that's I absolutely to. irrelevant uh, zombie there. Yeah. This this stun is actually brutal as well, because if he wasn't stunned, Dimmy could have blitzed the ghoul back and then reunited with his mummy, right? But um, with that, with that dub skull. He might still have to. He might have to still just uh, blitz this ghoul and come back to the middle. Cage, cage around the... Uh, but he cage around the mummy. Will he be able to have enough uh, players uh, moving to score later? Yeah, it's turn five. I think so. I think you get the get the zombie up here. You know, so you've got like a K 
cage and uh, yeah that's a bit bit shit isn't it but you can kind of do something but this it smells like it's gonna be a blitz on a, a wolf yeah and then just a score and then a score yeah Dimmy said he hasn't got the uh, he hasn't got the bravery to stall and that has he and it's shown there like it would have been a lot easier if that hadn't been a stone if that hadn't been a stone I think maybe he would have gone back and lit back and caged but um, with that being a stun, it does make it a little bit harder. And yeah, I guess Dimmy will just go now. And set himself up for the two way. Set himself up for the two one grind, you know, but only one reroll for Devo. And oh, KO's all stayed out. Oh, that's big. And yeah, Dimmy's now big. on 11 that... players, but huge quality missing with the money. I think he could have done Cornite, but I understand him not trying. I, I, well, with if that if that guy if that guy hadn't been stunned, I think he gets to make a good cage easily. But the stun, I think, spoils it. I think I think the stun is the killer there. I think the, the stun stops him caging. So I I agree Ooh. that with how it happened, he couldn't. But I think he could have done. Um, without there you stun. go. Keolan and Adder Befell will share ten points. Win mm. in their uh, bet. Um, 11 versus 9. Um, Magnus. Because Dimmy's got 13 total and Andy's got 12 total. They share 10 points. Wow. Well done. Well done, well done, Kerlan. More <laughs> uh, points for uh, the Euros. <laughs> Spend them wisely. <laughs> Wait. Is, does he know he's got a flesh eater to pick up the ball? Okay, he's, he's sorted it. <laughs> that would have been something special, having a fleshy pack to pick up the ball. Got to check the end zone for the art sweepers. Oh, they're both good. Yeah, two player advantage for Dimmy. You know, that does help, doesn't it? Yep, yeah. yeah, yeah, makes the defense uh, much easier. Mm. Surprised Dave but isn't only... going for surfing a, a ghoul here, honestly. Maybe he's just realised and he's going to change everything so he can surf a ghoul. Oh no, he's just going to do it around this way, right? Yeah, yeah, he is surfing a ghoul. Sorry, I'm stupid. I just didn't think of it doing it the same way as him. But yeah, one, two, three, four, five six seven and then he's doing it with block list that's why i didn't like but fair enough probably probably should be not doing it like he should probably be swapping these two right uh or in fact just changing everything so he gets to gets to surf with block oh, yeah he, you know he can't put he can't put a player in there can he so actually yeah he probably does need these two players around and yeah he needs to do a little bit differently we'll see how they This isn't terrible from Dimmy. He probably wanted to be in like another square in though, right? Just to make this this a bit harder for Dimmy. Well, Keolan, you could offer the points to Apple, you know, as a we are sorry thing, you know. <laughs> Quick snap. Very good uh, to make things much easier, even easier for uh, Devo. Actually, yeah, it's actually not that bad. Uh, no, no, it's still better. It's still better because he goes in there and then he just blitzes from here. So, yeah, it does help him a little bit. It's still better to go forward one. You can go forward one there and, and cross one here. But he's probably regretting yeah, not look. setting up for a quick snap now. Right? Yeah. Exactly, okay, Lam, but the. Uh... You know, you need to make amends, you know, you know, to give them something. I think uh, Jim Sharp will be a, a nice gift to Apple. <laughs> Jim Sharp. It's still uh, best to go forward here, because then he just gets to blitz that way. He doesn't need to think about this too much. Okay. I don't 
really like that. I guess I guess he might pow it and then he can blitz the other one. So maximum greed. But he's only got one reroll. Or unless he's like yeah. sure it's not a double circle. This just seems like maximum greed. A blockless block. Never punish. But yeah, not a good set from Dimmy. No, 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 Dimmy, no. The, the ghoul is going to taste the streets of Hastings. <laughs> but nothing happened, so that's more or less okay. Not terrible yet. And still a player up. Also, with this, all these uh, players uses the Dimmish Ghouls are going to have a lot of mobility. The ones on the left side of the pitch. Yeah. <laughs> and now Davo is thinking, do I pick up the ball or do I do 2D without block? Mm. And where I should put the other wall? Oh my god, gaping hole now. So there'll be a bit of a pressure here from Dimmy. Oh my god, Fail last three rolls he uses. Oh, those ghouls there are looking uh, <laughs> in that general direction. <laughs> Can he afford to not reroll this? Probably yes, but it could be really, really risky if the ball goes to the left. Yeah, this is very risky. Doesn't re-roll it. Wow. Ooh, good, uh, good bounce of the ball. Yeah. But he's got to go for this now, I think. Yes, Dimi has to go there. Full penetration. <laughs> yep. Yeah, three D the three D the wraith, probably, and then get everyone through the middle. Is pretty good. Hmm. I mean, tag everything he can tag, like the goo with tackle. He can, he can tag. I things. think he's thinking uh, he could bleed the wolf next to the ghoul down, right? Oh my god, I don't know. I think, I think, I think he should, I think he should 3D the wraith. Well, he's not 3 d No, so. I think he's going for the, the wall, moving the... I mean, it's a, it's a hole guy. already. He doesn't have to move anybody, does he? Like, there's a, there's a hole straight through anyway. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> the hole is there. He's like... Yeah. He literally doesn't have to blitz anything. Oh, he's going to get tackled on the ball. Yeah. yeah. It is a double GFI, isn't it? But yeah, he gets tackle on the ball. And then I guess he can base the other wolf. Yeah, okay, this is pretty good, isn't it? Because everything ends up based. So it's a double GFI for the tackle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this one can run through afterwards. Three, four, five, six, seven, G eight, or, or double GFI and tag him. And then this one can block there and then follow. So that kind of like everything's tagged. Oh, Dimmy, don't roll. Instant, ones. instant reroll. Only a push. But it's not bad, right? He's got the guard and he's got the got the ghoul base with tackle. I think dodging one no. GFI is better here because you don't want to conserve rerolls, but he does the double GFI. And probably should have blocked this first, yeah. And then follow so that you're, you're on the flesh. It's a pretty good turn from Dimmy. Yeah, pretty good turn from Dimmy. Didn't have to three dice see? this because. See, see, I told you the, the, the play was the, the wolf blitz. Yep, yep. 
Yep, this is not easy for uh, Dave, or is it? Not easy at all. Maybe he should have rerolled that pickup, honestly. And now all the. Uh, no team has any kind of a speed advantage because the wolves move eight, but the wolves are back. They were. Ghouls move uh, seven. Mm. Yeah, this is a this is a pickle for Dave, or a big pickle. He's yes, because he free. needs he needs to hit that tackler in uh, some capacity. Yeah, it's probably this wolf blitz, right? This wolf dodge blitz. So at least he starts with a two D. And even after that, it's not great for him. Maybe no. it was just genius bait from Dimmy. Baited the surf and the and the out of position. Uh, there you go. He knew, you know, he, he made the other side much stronger <laughs> to bait for the surf on the weak side. <laughs> genius from Dimmy, really. Yes. I think it, this is has to be Dimi traveling to Greece? No, no. no I, I kind of wish I'd gone now, honestly. I kind of wish I'd gone just because I'm not excited about Budapest. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Sorry if there's anyone from there. Whereas Athens seems pretty cool, doesn't it? Yes. There is a lot of stuff in Athens full of uh, history. Yeah. I have a story. Uh, how oh, that in the half time is ah, fucking hilarious. <laughs> Alright, he's blitzing with the uh with his own guard to try and get his own guard in. Okay, that's pretty good actually, because that's a two plus instead of a three plus. But it, he is gonna have to GFI as well, so it's only two three plus it's only two two pluses rather than a three plus. I know what it wasn't, okay. But it means that he's got two into two, so yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good solution from Devo. Guess the power, the guess the armor break. Timmy's got the record. Okay, and this and this allows uh, Devo to have some degree of protection when he tries to pick up the ball. Yep. Which, if he doesn't, that's gonna be tough. He doesn't pick it up, does he reroll? Yes. I mean, yes, the, the, the turns, there is not enough turns to <laughs> wait there for a. And I think they get the powder, a 1 in 9 would have been a. Another oh chance. my god, this is the X, the actual the opposite of a 1 in 9. <laughs> yeah. Oh, finally, a regen. For in a zombie, of course. Oof. Pretty, now, pretty good the big, from Yes, yes, good recovery. Now Dimigan still has a lot of stuff. He has a lot of ghouls that can uh, do things and they have dodge and there is no tackle on the Davos team. Mm. Yeah, honestly, maybe just punch this and then... Uh... But I guess he can hit the ball, right? He's got to think about how important it is hitting the ball and how important it is trying. It's probably best just to whack that fleshy and then blitz the zombie in front and just stand in front of this ghoul to make it hard for him. But we'll see. Maybe he's got other plans. He could... Uh, oh, no, he's got bloody the stand firm on the fleshy. Otherwise, he could have uh, could have moved this guy in here and then blitz this fella and then, uh, and then like, changed his, chained his mummy up. Okay, I'm not read. I guess he gets him on the on the wolf, but I'm not a big fan of doing that instead of hitting the fleshy. Yeah, hitting the fleshy allow him to have a lot of pressure on the ball area. Here comes the wrestle, or even just, just the zombie, right? to to get the to get the movie on the ball would have been nice. Don't like that from Timmy. Sorry, Timmy. <laughs> if he had uh, put the fleshy down, he had 2D on the zombie. Yeah. With the other zombie. Yeah, I don't really like this very much. And then he could have uh, the block piece, could have uh, hit the ball. 
Yep. More or less. Yeah, or he could have, you know, or he, or he could have hit the zombie and got the mummy on the ball. So either, either way, like, I, I feel like he chose not the one I wanted out of all three options. But that doesn't mean I'm correct. It could mean that Dimmy's correct. We just don't know. Karim Bangar, oh, no! He was four, going for three. the 1D on the ball. Yeah, he went for the 4 3 to 1D the ball. Hmm. Now, uh, Andy has more uh, an easy, relatively easy path forwards. Yeah. And I see relatively being generous. <laughs> He hasn't got a reroll. He made a bunch of stuns, which has really helped him, to be fair. But like, even this blitz isn't that... Like, this is the blitz that you want to do, because he's the furthest back. But the problem is, if he doesn't pow, then uh, he's got to make a GFI and you've got no rerolls. So, you could put this guy in, but then it's a blockless block, because then you want to get these two forward. So, I guess that's that's the other obvious one, is to move him around here blockless block and then that frees up both of these to then get the surf and come in front so it's it's either way it's a one in nine or a one in six a potential one in six or a definite one in nine neither of which are super optimal good. but mm -hmm. uh, Andy is going to have to choose one of them because there is no you know uh, easy path it's surely, it's surely hitting the mummy, right? It's surely moving this wolf here and blocking the mummy with a blockless block. A blockless block! Has to be. Has to be. No, he's just punching forward. So that was a blockless two, block. Two blockless blocks then he's going for, which is even more dangerous. Oh, oh, get the pow. How oh, awesome. The armor wreck. No spoilers, please. So he's going to go diagonally, I guess. But he's got to make a GFI because he's blocked his own path. <laughs> or he's not going to go anywhere and he's just going to make another blockless block. Oh, here is Hargrim, the traitor. <laughs> Are you going to Athens, Hargrim? Oh, yeah, so get these in first. Okay, that's a. He gets the push. And then gets the eye cage. Is this a GF on it? Oh, a dodge. Ooh! <laughs> Okay, something else must happen because right now is a red dice with Russell on the ball. He's got, with a, he's, got dodge. he's got a dodge, hasn't he? He's got to dodge this guy yeah? in front and then it's a 1D. A 1D with a roll, with a dodge, easy dodge. What the hell, Jimmy? Oh, no, 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 because no, he, he, Russell doesn't matter, he's defenseless, so it better to hit with block, right? And then he'll knock him down. Oh, yeah, him. true, true. True, true. Hurt him. Get him, Dimmy. Get him. <laughs> Stand up this zombie first, probably. Um, that doesn't matter, does it? No. No, oh, no, because you might want to try and pick up. So you probably should stand him up first, because you might want to try and pick up. Like it could, you could pow him, and then it could like scatter behind you. So then you could dodge back and pick it up. So yeah, do the stand ups first. And then dodge two, do. Makes it. Royal. Push not good enough. You have to reroll. Gets the full power. Get the power. Instant full power. Never in my life I've seen something like this. Oh. Oh. Reroll and catch it. Oh no. Oh. Now he's got a dodge up. Now he's got a dodge here. He did reroll the catch. Love, love that he rerolled the catch. 
god! Oh, More plus dodge! Here comes the zombie! <laughs> Here comes the zombie! <laughs> he don't play by the zombie! Oh no, no, okay, that's pretty that's pretty funny, isn't it? That's pretty good from Dimmy actually. That, that was a good I dodge, would have put the zombie one squared up. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's pretty good. This is pretty good though, isn't it? Like he's got a what well, blitz him with a wolf. Blitz the zombie with a wolf. There you go. Blitz him with the wolf. Gets the pow. And then just dodge pick up with a goo. Scatter the ball will be, <laughs> be too <mental>. risky. <laughs> yeah. be mental. Now dodge with the goal, pick up, so it's a three plus. Yep. Three plus. First one with a reroll. And, he makes and it. has the ball and scores. Disgustous. Poor Dimmy. Done by the 60%. One, one for uh, Andy Davo. Yeah. Again, uh, and I'm going to tell the story about the Olympic uh, Games, you know, related with Greece. Mm -hmm. I really did yesterday. You know, Nero, the emperor of Rome, yep. not the burning city software. Mm -hmm. uh, Nero, one time decided he wanted to uh, be part of the Olympic Games <laughs> as a contestant, as a participant. Mm -hmm. So he changed the date of the Olympic Games. You know, it was supposed to be, you know, every four years. Mm -hmm. But it was two years to go and say, no, no, let's make it this year. <laughs> oh, disconnect. Oh, shit. So like, yeah, yeah, let's go, you know, because I'm going doing a tour through Greece, you know, I want to be part of the Olympic Games, that's fantastic, I love that. <laughs> and he decided to participate. Now, the Olympic Games were more or less like now, you know, top athletes, <laughs> top, 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 top athletes of the Greek world going there. And Nero, well, let's be honest, <laughs> he was the emperor of Rome, which is so cool, but come on. <laughs> And the big one, he loved Nero, loved his chariot races, you know, like we have seen in Benur and all that. So there was part of the Olympic Games, you know, there were races. Mm -hmm. And he decided to participate in the race. Now, the problem with participating in a race is like you start, you decide to want to be, you know, a Formula One driver out of the blue. <laughs> so he crashed big time. But, but the judges decided that if it wasn't for the fact that he lost, he would have won the race. <laughs> so they named him the champion. So he became the Olympic champion of chariot racing. Yeah. Because that, that, that is, it's very simple. If you wouldn't have lost, you would have won. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Nero champion of that. Not yeah. only that, he didn't only won that, this epic athlete. He won every single competition <laughs> he was part. <laughs> And he added new competitions, you know, like they had break dance this year. <laughs> well, he decided to have acting, singing, and poetry. <laughs> and also won every single one of them. It was absolutely epic performance from Nero, Emperor of Rome. <laughs> moving the calendar of the Olympic Games, going there. Hey guys, how are you doing? Okay, let's try your race. Ten horses chariot race, so it was like, holy mm. shit, there's a lot of horses here. <laughs> Crash, more or less in the first curve, <laughs> and it's like, oh, oh my god, but if it wasn't because of the crash, it's clear I was going to win. <laughs> That's incredible. And yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, yeah, it was in uh, no way because the threat of death, I mean, it's, uh, the purity of the sport, it was, uh, <laughs> it's like, I mean, truth to me, be told, truth to be told, if he wasn't crashed, probably have won, who's going to be stupid enough to compete with the Emperor of Rome and say, hey, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> After Nero died one year later, the Olympic Committee decided to take out all his achievements. Wow. Envy, pure envy. Outrageous. Robbed. And uh, move the calendar back to regular years for the <laughs> Olympic Games. <laughs> oh, brilliant. I was reading it yesterday. It's fucking brilliant. You know, my fuck off the horses, fuck off, fucking mess there. 
<laughs> well, yes, I crashed, but if you would have crashed and lost, I would have won. Of <laughs> course, of course, Neil, of course. Yeah, no one's going to argue good. with another, to be fair. Yes, it's a perfect argument. Mm. No, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't argue with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could use that, you know, your Blue Book Super League result, you know, you have mm -hmm. lost two games, yes. Yeah, you wouldn't yeah. have lost, you would have won. Yeah, that's a good point. If I hadn't, if I hadn't just given Tree two, two fucking Orcs to surf in the first two turns, I would have won that game, yeah. And if I hadn't exactly, been dead. Exactly, yeah. If you hadn't crashed, you know, oh, one in nine here. This is just the tradition at this point that that, that Dave all leaves a gigantic gaping hole as an offensive line, but no, he does re-roll it, oh, gets the cast. Big, big cast there. Great re-roll. <laughs> the failed pickup. Oh, seems that ghouls, <laughs> ghouls have problems with pickups uh, this game. <laughs> But yeah, there's no, there's no breakthrough now for Dimmy at least. Yeah, there is no. He's uh, very safe, very safe. Yeah. And any kind of pressure uh, Dimmy wants to put, it will be absolutely destroyed by the wolves. Yeah. So, blitz with the mummy on the fleshy, maybe. Wishing for a, you know, a hope and a dream. Yeah, he's got to get lucky. Probably should have been trying to get lucky a bit longer, like a bit more. You know, trying to hit the high vo high value players with his mummy. I'm probably think with the mummy there. At least put the mummy in a in a very decent spot. Yeah. I don't oh no, he's going for the random uh, for the blitz on a poor zombie. Yeah. This also gets his zombie surfed in, in return, unless he reinforces it. Which it doesn't look like he's doing. So, yep, Dave will just get the surf here. I'm sure. Or we'll, we'll attempt it anyway, right? It's very easy, just push, push, and then sideline. And now, that's it. Oof. Oof. This is looking pretty grim for Dimmy. Gotta be honest. Well, Kerimia is one less mummy yet. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Diced. Diced. Tragedy. Oh, gets the surf anyway, does he? <laughs> Yep, gets the surf. Oh, anyway. there you go, there you go, KO. Look at Dog Devo. <laughs> Man, the armor rolls this game have been absolutely atrocious for both of them. Yep. More for Demi, I think he's taken four cards, whereas Devo took a bunch of KOs that didn't turn. But yeah, it's been pretty, uh, pretty rough. Now pick up the ball, and now. Yeah. Easy protection. Yeah. Yeah, I'm dead with one mummy are pretty shit. They're like shit humans and humans already aren't really good. <laughs> and now they become shit mummy. So like shit shit humans. So yeah, once he lost that mummy, I thought Dimmy should have been like, you know, trying to get lucky more, right? Like just blitzing the mummies every turn, trying to trying to nail somebody with mighty blow. Maximize that mighty blow. Mm. Yep, it's looking grim. It's looking grim for Dimrath. We have seen a Dimi come on top of even worse situations. Yep, yep. It, you know things can turn around. This it's is blue ball. Every, every, every roll hides a disaster. <laughs> yeah. But, but I think Dave is too good and won't let him get in. But you never know. You know, if he just, if he just every Dimi hits, it's like you know, Dimi could just hit here, Kaz. And then Devo could quote score, right? So like, and then it's what all, is called, it's what is called the classic what is called first uh, block of the turn. Yeah, yeah. So it it can still swing, but it's uh, not not really looking bad for Dimmy.
Makes you wonder what would have happened if, like, the first half, you know, like, the blitz hadn't happened in the first half. Dimi's probably coming in to the second half, uh, being quite happy. Oh, my God, he tried tried a 4 5 one D. Jesus. Yep. I do not like that. That was a... Uh... Too early to do that kind of play, Dimi. You still have a lot of uh, pieces around and things like that. The, the... Yeah, yeah. I don't think it was that desperate. Exactly right. The, the desperation play was three dicing wraiths, um, not, not uh, four plus five plus in one ding with no recovery. And <laughs> no, no, that was yeah. So he kind of had the right idea, just the wrong, wrong, wrong execution. Right, his, his idea of. Of, uh, I don't understand what he's doing there. Or is he making it a three and a three? Okay. Yeah, that's probably sensible actually. I would have like I would have probably tried like the two D and then into the surf, you know, just to see if I power him. But this is safer, isn't it, with two rerolls? This is the safer way of doing it. And get the the push. Three and, and two. another push. Yep. And now here it comes the rest. Uh, safe move first. <laughs> yeah, safe move sometimes. Yeah. Safe move first. Yes, yeah, safe move uh, sometimes. Yes, he also has to move the the right with the the guard. The you know pieces should move around <laughs> a little more. You know, <laughs> just just you know because I mean safe move sometimes. No, it's fair enough. I right? like some of these moves with, were freed up by getting that guy out of the way, so it wasn't. It wasn't a ludicrous safe moves at some point. It was a completely ludicrous Okay, safe now move. we go for the surf. Yep. Kicks him off. And now, God, what's this? Six, seven players for Dimmy. <laughs> dear. Oh dear, oh dear. There it goes. I was going to say that. Blitz Mummy on the fleshy. Reroll, 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 Dimi. You have to high roll. You have to high roll. Yes. There you go. There you Thanks. go. What fucking Dimi? For God's sake, Dimi. Fuck's sake, Dimi. <laughs> Jesus no. Christ! Your kid is gonna watch this game at some point in his life. <laughs> oh man, rough. Not a lot you can do here. Yeah, no, no. Well, he can move back the ghouls, try, you know, to put pressure for later. Yeah. Oh, no, Timmy. <laughs> okay, right, yeah. I was going to say, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? But okay, that was... I wonder if you can surf the mummy. He probably wants to, doesn't he? <laughs> he might even be able to surf the mummy as well. They put in the wraiths and stuff. Probably spend a minute looking at this and trying to work out if he can surf the mummy. <laughs> yes, this is gonna be, you know, time to think. Oh, it's surf a mummy. Uh, there is a lot of. Uh... And then sidestep, like, because you can do the first hit to here, right, and then hit there, and then sidestep to there, and then block him in there, and then block him there, and then block him out. So he could do it, but uh, it's, you know, it probably needs a lot of players and a lot of looks. So it's probably not worth trying it. But that hasn't stopped him before. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no. Nothing is a word witness. We have seen a. Very interesting sharp plays brown uh, at the table. Yeah. And now the question is, will he do it? He's thinking, all this time thinking is because of that. <laughs> I think he's going the safe uh, way, just going for 2D. Yeah. Is he? I, I don't know what he's doing, honestly. There's, lot, there's lots, of, lots of options here he could be going for. Yeah, going super safe. Not so safe for his wolf, but uh, actually I actually expected him to surf the ghoul when I said when I said he'd gone super safe because this this does leave him um, in a bit of a pickle. Gets the power at least. Mm. He's 
another player in for a blockless block. Ooh, here comes. Not yet. And now there you go. Now he has the 2D on the mummy with the fleshy. Closing the gates of the cage, and now can get the power. This is the mummy. Diced. Blip blitz the wolf, Timmy. <laughs> It's happening. He's blitzing the wolf. Yeah. It's only two. The mummy rises up and says, "The wolves." Oh, fresh! He's hit. Blitzing the fresh. He gets him. Gets the power. Has him. Not even an armor break. Not even an armor break. Diced. But yeah, he's got three. He's got three goals. Like he's got to keep his head here, because yeah, okay, it's terrible, right? Of course, it's terrible. But it's turn thirteen. Devo's only just over the halfway line. Dimmy's still got three goals. He can still do stuff. If he hadn't just lost one for no reason, he'd have still had four goals, and he could have still done something. So he's got to keep himself in the game. I mean, yeah, looking grim, but things can happen. I don't know why I didn't hit the wolf. The wolf just cast somebody. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to remove the wolf, right? Because he's only armor eight, so that would have been my there you go. my rationale for hitting the wolf. Like the guards now it begins. So. so I understand hitting the wolf, actually, but yeah, yeah, I would have gone out of the wolf. It's the full power. Yes, the power. Full power. Armor break. A massacre. And uh, the armor break is gonna seal the deal, it's gonna be allowed to be able to get his players wherever he wants to get them. It's gonna be a cage top right, middle right. Yeah, yeah there you go, he's even got movement, yeah, yeah, right up here. He has the guard, he has the Everything he could need. I would have actually put that wraith up here, right, to protect the wolf a little bit. Or like here, maybe even. Somewhere like this. Because he's still got, like, the ghoul and the wraith to do the bottom. And, and like, this guy. So he could have gone. He could have. He had enough for the cage already because of this ghoul. So I, I would have maybe he's gone for. A, gone for this wraith out in front. This gets him another punch. And punching is good. Another armor break and another uh, KO. Five players for Dimmy. <laughs> there you go. Quick turns for uh, Jimmy. Uh, he can start thinking his chances of getting a one turn. <laughs> a shitty stun. Is he gonna dodge in the Yeah he is gonna dodge in. Uphill, wrestle, re-rolls it, gets pushes. Oh tragedy. Well, he tried. Yeah, a bit a bit of a dicing, but also. You know, some uh, a, bit, a bit of team build, right? The, the mummies not having guards really cost them in this match, because with guards they could have protected each other. So like, like th that was the price he paid for the block that he wanted on the goals, right? The, these mummies were a bit vulnerable, and then the blitz. If he hadn't got blitzed on, it would have been a lot harder for Dave to like try and win that fight against the mummies. But ultimately, four guard are going to win the fight against mummies, and then it's going to be very hard for the mummies. To do anything, so it wasn't that crazy that he removed one. And now he can free the ball carrier or whatever he wants to free. You wanna be the zombie into 3D, which doesn't manage to take down the wrestle and he's uh, pondering. <laughs> First notch, Russell. It was Kornai, but you know, I just 
just roll power. Wait. Yeah, Dave would like to just put him on his ass, right? Just put him down. Maybe thinking about the foul? He could foul, yeah. Yeah, he could foul. When your opponent's got five players, you can you can foul pretty freely. <laughs> wow, I kind of hate that GFI. Like, it does lock him down a bit, you know, like, makes him a 4-3 way instead of a 3, but... He could just moved him first right before he punched him, I'm pretty sure. And then he would have got that foul in. Well, Dimi has another cage dice to do. Yep, yeah, no reroll this time though. No reroll, yes, proper blood ball, no reroll, it's just the skills and there you go. <laughs> click ghoul, dodge, click ghoul. There's a chance. Not a lot, but there's a chance. No chance of a one turn, of course, with only movement seven versus two stand firm and two sidestep. But uh, you know, there's a chance of a riot. So there was there was some, certainly an argument against trying these silly cage dice and just go for removals to help with the well, not a riot timeout. And 15 for uh, Andy. Easy. Easy BC. Zero stress for Andy. Yeah. Well, in the same story, he serves some consolation for uh, Dimi. I'm pretty sure he won the drop below the top 50 coaches, Blue Bowl coaches in Hastings. <laughs> After the, the game, he has a very solid position in the top 50. Yeah. Now we wait. <laughs> for a miracle for Dimi in the kickoff. Yeah, there's a chance. There is a chance if he gets the uh if he gets the timeout kickoff result. Oh, is that paused for you? Yeah, probably. Doesn't matter. I think Dimmy was a little bit, a little bit out of it. Yeah, he's been playing a lot of blue ball today, I heard. Yeah, yeah, two, two games in Hastings <laughs> on tabletop. Wait, wait, two tabletop games? Yeah, yeah. That's like Whoa. five hours right there. Not Whoa. in Hastings, actually, because he said he was on the train for three hours, so not in... <laughs> Not in Hastings. Um, Jesus. Yeah. Train for hours, playing for hours, then commentating for an hour, and then playing versus Devo. So yeah, that's uh, that's a tough ask for Dimbo. But he's still, you know, he's still joint top with Devo. Joint top, yes. He's uh, stall at the top. I think he's adding some level of drama mm -hmm. to the competition. Yeah. And his last two games will be against Hiru and me. So, be very interesting. Oh. Devo losing has kind of like blown the air. Uh, Blown the uh, thing open a little bit. The problem for me is I've lost to 
Tree and Hero. <laughs> and they're playing each other now, so probably one of them will win and then I'll you know, I can't catch up to them, so it's it's tough. I'm gonna have to win my last two and hope other results go my way. But, um, and my next game's against Davo, which I'm probably not winning, so yeah. I'm pretty much out. Oh, um, wash it out, uh, Jimmy Fantastic, from reaching the finals, winning the Blood Bowl Super League, they just be just a bottom feeder. Yeah, yeah, tragedy. Absolute tragedy. But you never know, things could happen. But, uh, yeah. And that's it, that's the anti... Uh, when the uh, setup, Devo should not be doing this. He should be defending against the riot, like oh well, no, um, what's it called? Timeout, right? He shouldn't be defending. Timeout. This is bad. He should he should be defending against the timeout. Now if there is a timeout happening. There will be a lot of regrets. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, Dimmy should have just saved his rerolls for if there was a timeout <laughs> and uh, not reroll anything and. You know, if he gets the time out here, he's got half a chance. Yeah, this is not great. Okay, for opening is kicking the ball, and here we go. And the result is an epic. Get the ref. Get the ref. Okay. And that's it, folks. Dimi decided to do a block. <laughs> there you go. The mummy gets the, the punch uh, he wanted. And that's it. Yeah. Dimi is going to make us all wait for another minute. <laughs> all right, uh, Dimi, I don't know what you are doing. Does he even know that it's turn 16? <laughs> maybe not. Maybe he's totally lost it. Maybe he's totally lost it. Oh, one well, for the foul. Okay. And that's it. That's it, folks. Maybe he wants to make a pass with the... <laughs> yeah. Yes. Pass it to the wolf, maybe. Oh no, he can't pick it up. He can't even pick up the ball. Embarrassing. <laughs> oh man, I hate that it doesn't go on the summary screen. Oh my god. Anyway, the summary screen was a 2 1 win for Davo. So there you go. Um, I can show you the table now. Um, because oh, here we go, the table. Because I beat, I beat Sol earlier. Um, this evening, so that puts Devo top of the league on head to head versus Dimmy. They're both on four. And then, meanwhile, Sol, Tree, Hiru, and I all have one win each. Um, with obviously Sol having the better touchdown difference, uh, thanks to thanks to crushing, uh, crushing Devo 4 1. And uh, Hiru and Tree still have to play each other. Um, I believe they'll be playing on like Monday or Tuesday or something. So yeah, Hero and Hero and Tree will be playing each other to you know make sure solidify my position at the bottom. <laughs> there you go, there you go. So you can you know from there get the strength to jump higher. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But uh, yeah, there you go. It was a bit one side on the look, but also I think on the play as well. I think I think uh, Devo definitely deserved a win. So there you go. Congrats to Devo. Commiserations to Dimmy. Thank you very much, Fimey. It was glorious having you in the booth. It's always a pleasure to be here. And remember, guys, if you become emperors of Rome, you can just decide, you know, the, the talk to the judges. Well, you didn't even need to talk to the judges. And the judges will decide if you don't... Uh, the only reason you didn't win is because you lost. To take that out and you win. Easy. Easy. There you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.